Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Jocasta Lester. In this video, I just want to talk to you about the localizer agenda. I'm going to call it that because that's the way that I've, it's just a coin, a phrase that I've coined with the media say. So you have a life's purpose, right? You have talent, you have things to do, you have places to go, you have stuff to get around to, okay? What happens is over the course of your life, you've kind of collected up a bunch of people that don't want you to do anything. <laughs> They're just the bad guys. Just if you were to watch any cartoon, it's cartoonish in that way, where the bad guys all assemble themselves in the spirit against you. When they start to curse you and to call you different things that you aren't, the Elzebub, Babylon, those things, it brings certain spiritual energy around you. If you've ever noticed that the people that were around when you were growing up were a particular type, like crackheads and drug, you know, whatever the case may have been in your situation, the people that were the undesirables, but by you, you didn't want them and nobody else really likes them either, okay? These are the types that tend to show up with that particular accusation in your life. I've heard it spiritually and I understand that they generate a um, a story around you using, you know, your battle and you just that. They'll accuse you, show up as these weird people that get really close to you and try to keep you in a circle with them. Then they introduce a hard conundrum. They bring something into your life that's so difficult to solve that you need them for it, but you don't. Okay. But the consequences, it's like a consequence for doing the right thing stands in between you and doing whatever it is to solve this problem. But then there's the pressure to do the right thing because it's something that's pressing. Okay. So let's say they take your child, they take your son. Okay. They decide that you know, the best thing to do is to separate you and your son and they take your son into their care. Then they try, they, they generate the story around your son being hurt and all that stuff until he gets hurt. They bring in that hurt. Then they bring in the rush, the necessity to run to his aid, which we love our children. We're going to run to their aid anyway, but then they stand in the way. They start taking jobs, taking money, doing everything that they can subtly so that you feel, you look like you're crazy. You look like a person that struggles to keep a job when in all actuality, you go to work every day on time, you do your job. <laughs> the weirdos all show up and everybody gets laid off. <laughs> then you're off to another job because you can't go without income. Okay. But whatever the case may be, OK, they introduce this hard conundrum and they worsen it and worsen it. So now fast forward to today and I'm told that my son is in the attic of this apartment building. I call the police. I call this person, that person. I reach out. No one does it. And it's left to me to run into an attic. Now, I've also been informed of my spirit that the way that my son, quote unquote, ended up in the attic of this building, allegedly, is because they ran him into an attic. So effectively, they try to do the same thing over and over again to people. They try to run you into an attic using the systems and all of the pressure that they can do to you mentally and around and psychologically, emotionally. It's crazy. <laughs> but I do understand in some cases it is real. OK, so I say all of that to say this. OK, they try in every way that they can to take a Christian captive. It is what they do. And they use all of the stories that they can generate around your life. And they use all of the things that they can do to ruin your life to keep you with it. So that you have now this thing where you have to run up to an addict to come and help your, your ailing son because you don't know what's going to happen to him. Or you go and do the things that you that you have to do. You have talent, you have these things, and you have to basically sacrifice is what they want. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. They use the sentiment of society when it comes to being a mother or anything, any type of any perversion of anything that's natural and pure. They're at it. So they'll pure. They'll, they'll come up with a way to purify themselves. They'll have people to do it right all around, but they'll have the, the desire to tear it up for you. OK, they want to go to heaven as these bad people. So you, you, you be the judge, but yes, it's a localizer thing where they will try to keep you confined in any way. Localize the worst form of being localized is going to jail. Okay. So with that said, I'll call it the localizer, the localizer agenda, the confinement agenda. They'll introduce disease to your life. They'll do a number of things to try to keep you from being able to go and do what you're supposed to do. I've been given a commandment by God to get up. So if I'm told to get up and then they go sit down, they're anti-Christian. So Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. And yes, there are many efforts where they couldn't, um, but they couldn't do it with you. Make sure you hold on to everyone in your household close. Never let anyone leave your care. Okay. But at the end of the day, any way that they could try to gain a hostage 
to keep you captive. That is what they're into. And where they couldn't get you to uh, submit willingly because they have your own as a hostage, they try to make sure that society comes down on you so badly that you can't do anything. But I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So you get up and you do what you're supposed to with your life and make sure you take care of all of the issues too. So have a blessed and marvelous day. Just know that when they, when they get to you, that's what happens. They get around you as these weirdos. The first thing that shows up to let you know that, oh, it's the weirdos here. They surround you. They surround you as these weirdos. And they they typically, they tend to be close to you waiting on the, the spiritual weirdo to show up. It starts the babbling. When the babbling starts, it brings all types of stupid things into your life. Your job contracts. And if you find yourself talking in the spirit to these, that's the way that they take. Okay. So have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. I know this video is all over the place. I had an idea. I was struggling to speak about it. I'm, I'm struggling to get focused. But anyway, y'all take care. Thank you for watching.